What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and to this new video uh, in which I wanted to talk about Bitcoin. We did that yesterday and I kind of wanted to... Um, yesterday obviously a lot happened. The volume is up, we had massive a massive sell-off and then uh, over, let's say, yeah, starting today we actually recovered a little bit. So I wanted to cover um, so some of the big cryptos again today. So after this, I'm covering Ethereum, Solana, and, and Ripple, and then also a little bit of Woo Network. Um, but what we see, uh, what, what we saw with Bitcoin yesterday, we can actually better check that out on the chart. Uh, so let's zoom into the one hour time frame a little bit. I analyze on the four hour, but the one hour is, is a little bit better if, if you have such limited price action uh, history after dropping down. <clears throat> So you can still see that we have a lot of bearish momentum, right? We got these EMAs pressing, uh, pressing down and yesterday that resulted in a drop down to um, actually around 18,000. I mean, we, we perfectly we perfectly touched this level around 1,700, 17,500. Um, what I expected and what I also said yesterday is that I, I did expect that when we drop through 19,000 that we would drop down to that we would drop uh, but I thought we would drop down to 17,000 and, and 16,600 especially um, but that didn't happen and we, we actually found found a lot of support here here around 17,600 went all the way up to the uh, 28 EMA rejected and now we've broken above the uh, 28 and the 50 EMA at least on the one hour time frame on the on the four hour, it's uh, the 28 EMA is more around 20,500. Uh, and that's also the most important part right now because um, it's, it's, it's great that we've actually gotten above 19,000 again. I, I think that's absolutely phenomenal, right? Because that, that means that there's at least some bullish momentum and at least some strong support uh, coming up again, which uh, was quite some time ago. We had a little bit right here, but, but afterwards, uh, there was almost no buying power in Bitcoin. But the main thing we would need to do right now, and that's going to be very difficult, is not only break above 20,000, but also break above 20,500. See, if we can do that, and, and we're just going to uh, do a little bit like this, a little bit freestyling, I think we're going to get up to that 20,300, uh, 400 level. And now from there, I do think that we're going to consolidate a little bit between 20,000 and 19,000. And then as long as we stay above 19,000, it's still okay. Because as long as we stay above 19,000, I think breaking above 20,500 to getting up to 22, 21,500, I, th I think that's possible and, and to consolidate afterwards. Um, but the moment we break through 19,000, so arguably that's an even more important level uh, than that 20. 20,500 level um, and when that happens I mean if we break through 19,000 we're just going to drop down not to 7, 17,500 uh, 17, now but all the way down to the 17,000 16,000 level I think and then from there I do expect us to be able to get a small spike and to uh, be a little bit more bullish but still I mean that would be very bad on, on the short term right so um, it's, it's key that we hold 19,000 and after that it, it's, it, it would be great if we're breaking above 20,500. Um, so yeah, that's basically my analysis for now. Uh, if you do have any questions about the analysis, please let me know down in the comments. Um, as for now though, thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.